for a session presented by AWS. Please welcome AWS Global Head of Travel, Massimo Morin, and United Airlines Chief Information Officer, Jason Birnbaum, in conversation with Skip X Head of Studio, Jeremy Cressman. All right, Jason Massimo, welcome to Skift Aviation Forum. Uh, we're talking today about digital transformation in the travel industry. Pretty topical topic to bring up today. Uh, over the past 12 months, the sector's faced all kinds of challenges, whether that's with talent, operations, scheduling. Um, but it seems like the industry's continued commitment to digital transformation has helped to tackle some of those challenges. Um, and that's one of the reasons why Skift partnered with AWS earlier this year on an in-depth survey and report. Um, exploring how the aviation strategy towards digital transformation is changing. So I have you two experts here to tell me a little bit about the report and learn how airlines are handling all of this. So um, let me ask you both. Digital technology, this is not a new theme for airlines, right? We've been booking flights online for decades. What changed in 2022? Uh, why is this topic so top of mind right now? Yeah, Jason? yeah. Th thank you, and, and thank you for, for, for having me. Uh, you know, We've been on a, a trajectory for a while of, of, of change, but I think it really obviously accelerated with the pandemic and beyond. And, and, and I think what's really happened is more than ever, expectations have dramatically changed through the pandemic as to what you should get as a customer, what you should, get, what you should experience as an employee, and what the operation should, should be doing. For instance, you know, for me as a customer, right, like during the pandemic and beyond, like I can, if I run out of coffee in the morning, I get coffee by, by noon at my house, right? And, right? and so all those things have trained our customers to expect more from us. Mm -hmm. And I think that is why the technology is so important to feed that. I had a great uh, email from a colleague of mine uh, just recently, and I hadn't talked to him for a long time, and, and he said to me, Jason, you know, I was on a flight, it was delayed, um, and at first I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this usually starts, it's usually a negative. He goes, but you did a great job. Mm -hmm. You communicated to me, you told me what was going on, you know, you, you were constantly updating me, and it was a really, really great experience, even though he was delayed for his trip. So for me, it's about, ex it's about expectations uh, of the customer. Uh, it's also expectations of our employees. I think about my children um, and think about, you know, they're totally digital native. The 15-year-old is on all the time. I can't imagine him showing up at work and going to, like, six weeks of green screen training and finding that to be a rewarding job. Like, the expectations of our employees are, that we're gonna have modern tools and capabilities that they can do their job the same way they would do it at home uh, as well. And so all those things are coming together and really pushing, pushing us as an industry, pushing us as an airline, pushing United Airlines to reimagine the capabilities that we create uh, Absolutely. for them. Yeah, we saw how much contactless became a factor during the pandemic and how it's continued to be. Yeah. Massimo, what's your take here? Uh, so indeed, it is the pandemic that changed. Uh, they put everything in different perspective. The story that United just shared, I've seen it across many other airlines. Uh, Delta, for example, Ryanair, Qantas, Korean Air. And there were two factors, not only uh, the expectation of the customer that changed, but also the fact that the way they were serving the customer using technology. Now, the first few months were kind of panic. What do we do? Uh, we do not know. And uh, now we have all this technology and all this data. So, well, it is costing us. And uh, they wanted to be able to shut down, shut down the airline, shut down the IT components and so forth. So, but at the same time, is we should take advantage of this opportunity. And that is what actually the acceleration occurred. This is an opportunity for the industry and for us actually to adopt modern technology, start engaging better with the customer, looking at the customer engagement, at the operational efficiency, and so forth. So we have seen it, and as Jason said, we heard it over and over, even from Glenn Morgan, the ex-CTO of uh, um, BA, that simply right. said the uh, pandemic has been the most effective digital transformation officer out there because it put everything in perspective. How do we use technology to serve better our customers, to deliver better our product, and how do you use it efficiently? And I think that is why it became front and central today. Mm. What's the expression people use? You went through 10 years of change in 10 months, right? Yep. Yes. So Jason, let me ask you, you oversee hardware and software decisions for what is one of the biggest airlines in the world, your CIO of United Airlines. What's been your biggest aha moment about digital transformation over the past year, two years, as we've gone through all this change? Yeah, uh, I, I think, you know, as, as, as been in this industry for a long time, and, and for me, 
and in technology for my, my whole career, uh, the choice always seemed to be people or technology. We always set it up as, you know, you can check in on the mobile app or you can check in with a person, you can, you know, even for, in, in all parts of it, it was always sort of like there's one choice or another. And what I really learned and what really the light bulb came on for me uh, during the pandemic was we've got to be better at integrating people with the technology. Uh, I think about a, a product we rolled out during the pandemic called Agent on Demand. It was intended it, it, to help you know, people travel during the pandemic. The idea was simple. We were very used to QR codes, mm -hmm. um, and we were very used to using things like Zoom and Teams. And so we said, well, how do we apply that at the airline? So we, we created a, a way that you could scan a QR code, get a screen going, speak to an agent. That agent may actually be at the airport. Uh, but you weren't able, you didn't have to be face to face with them. But what I learned in that process and what became clear is that that created a really positive experience for both the employee, the customer who could get a hold of, who could digitally get a hold of someone but speak to them as a, you know, in a, in a, in a very face to face virtually inter interaction, right. but also it's great for the employee. Mm -hmm. And they were able, they felt really empowered and engaged. And so going forward, what we're looking for is how do we create and connect all those physical experiences and all those digital experiences into one seamless environment. And I think to me that is the big lesson coming out of the, out of the pandemic. Uh, and, we're do, and we're seeing that go across the board is how do we really mesh those two things together? Right, connecting the customer experience, the employee experience to that digital component. Exactly. Massimo, I wanted to talk to you about this survey that we did this year. Um, AWS produced a survey with Skift. We polled leaders from airlines and airports around the world about attitudes towards digital transformation. Give me some of the highlights from this report that stood out to you and why you found them so interesting. So it, it is an interesting report. So if you haven't read it, please download it. And it's very entertaining. And it shows you a bit of the evolution of the industry because we see data from two years ago, last year, and this year. And we see that actually digital transformation is becoming more and more important for airline and airport than the other travel provider. So that is the first thing that is interesting to me. It's, uh, it's becoming now mainstream. It's not only anymore having a new website, a mobile app, but actually how you use technology at scale. And the second thing that I've seen is that the understanding that technology is at the core of this transformation right. and the adoption of cloud technology. The ability to use the services off the shelf, scale it up and down the way you want and pay as you go, enable you to experiment. That is actually what you want to do. We actually see, we have some data from the report here. We see that uh, aviation leaders actually over-index on the importance of digital transformation to their overall strategy and success in their business, right. um, just for reference here. But please continue. Yeah, no, absolutely. The other things that I've seen is the perception of where we are in, in this journey. I receive a lot of questions. I was talking to uh, the account manager of Cathay Pacific that was saying, well, we, my customer would like to know, when are we done? When are we done with digital transformation? Right. Or how are we doing? Are we ahead? Are we behind? To me, it's, it's all a matter of the journey, what you are going to do with this technology. Uh, what I always say is our major competitor is inertia, not doing anything or doing the old things. So to me, when I see that there is a perception that um, we are ahead of the curve, so we are doing better than before, 57%, mm -hmm. to me is it's good, we are, we are on that path, but I don't want people to get complacent. So who do you compare yourself to? To your previous behavior, to your peer, or to other industries? I'll give you an example. When I order Uber and I actually got a six to nine minutes wait, I cancel immediately. I want to have my car right here, right now, in less than three minutes. If that is the expectation that your customer have, how are you managing your booking, your reservation, your contact center, your check-in and so forth? How are you getting closer to the customer? So to me, it is important, but we have to be careful. Let's start analyzing this data and see where we are heading. Yeah, and Jason mentioned as kids, you know, they're, they have these expectations that are emerging that just they don't differentiate between any of these services. Airlines are lumped in with Uber, with everything else, right? So this kind of speaks to that point. I think airlines feel like they're ahead of the curve on digital transformation, but maybe they're not quite there yet. There's more work to be done. Right. Um, That's true. I wanted to ask you both about customer service. This is another aspect of digital transformation. You both kind of touched on it already. This underwent a significant evolution during the pandemic, especially, you know, 
people needing self-service support, people wanting more assistance with complex situations. Tell me about how digital is helping to transform customer service within aviation. Yeah, yes, and, and the good news is also our, chief, our uh, chief customer officer, Linda Jojo, will also be speaking today, and she will, will spend some time talking about this as well. But you know, from, a, from a digital transformation perspective, you know, I, I already mentioned expectations, right, and, and that people are looking for the opportunity to you know, be engaged with employees even through digital channels. Um, the other big thing that's happening is really a revolution around data. Um, customers want both privacy, which we have, as well as us to understand who they are and what, what's happening in their journey. And so I think as an industry, we're really at a, at, a, at a point where we're working to define what is that experience we want to provide for our customers that you know, we know they're, they're, they're being delayed so we can rebook them automatically. We know their preferences for you know, food or drink, and so we're able to stock a plane that has those things um, and do it in a way that feels seamless uh, but also respects, uh, you know, everyone has a slightly different uh, perspective of what, what is intrusive or that creepy feeling that you get right. in terms of doing that. I know, what, and, and frankly, I think there's a generational component to that. I know what I would think is, um, is a little intrusive. You know, again, my, my kids might expect that as their behavior. Sure. They want to know, like, hey, I, I've been looking for these shoes online for a long time. You know, I expect, you know, I want, I want ads about them, and they, they expect right. those things. So... I think we've really got to work on that from a customer service perspective. The last piece would be just how we talk to folks. I mean, we've got to meet customers where, where they want to be. And so, you know, we've spent a lot of time looking at new channels. Um, we spend a lot of time with chat. Uh, we spend a lot of time, as I mentioned, with agent on demand. Uh, but we really look for ways to make sure that wherever our customers are and wherever they want to get help, uh, that we can provide it to them. Right. Massimo, so what's your thought here? Yeah, absolutely. We are seeing a bit of a transformation in the customer engagement, especially with the airline. Uh, we know that airline and the industry has plenty of data. But now, how you use it is actually what is important. We have seen on the previous uh, presentation, um, Delta is actually greeting customers coming in because now they know uh, they have been delayed or they have been in the the connection, right? So having access to the ground floor on the people providing this access uh, enable them to engage better with their customer, but also with the contact center using services like Amazon Connect, for example, in which you can actually deploy that information for um, having a callback. You know who is the person, so you do not need to wait in line. That is how you improve the customer, uh, the customer experience. And that is happening everywhere. Everybody is looking at that. And to me is before, we were looking at the customer experience like something that we have to do. But technology was a byproduct. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Now instead, we have technology is becoming front and central. And in fact, uh, Linda Jojo, that is going to speak today, uh, she was the chief digital information officer at United. Right. So now the angle that she's going to bring and how she's going to use the technology to actually help the customers to experience their travel product, mm -hmm. I think it is a space to watch. I think right. she will have a unique take on this. Yeah. It, you both mentioned two really interesting points, you know, this nuanced ability to deliver different experiences to different customers and be able to meet customers wherever they are, whatever that right. platform mm -hmm. happens to be, right? Um, I just want to encourage you all, we actually have a QR code. This will take you directly to the report if you'd like to download it today. We have a little bit of time left. I'd love to ask you both, um, you know, digital transformation to me, when I think about that word or that phrase, it brings to mind, you know, computer code, databases, computers. But it seems like there's a very human element to digital transformation. You've touched on this in your responses. Talk to me about why people are so critical to this process and the time we have left. So we see the technology to be an enabler. But the, the real challenge is here is the approach that you have to your business. So how you change, how you rethink the business. We understand the complexity of the aviation, safety, 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 but the ability to experiment to actually uh, try stuff out and see if they work or if they don't, and if they do actually deploy in production and use it, that is a muscle that you need to train. And therefore, it's more of a people challenge. You have to enable your organization to actually do this digital transformation, providing the tool that get them there. And that makes your organization a more attractive organization for new talent, getting and retaining talent. So this is particularly important. 
and when you say the customer experience, but also my customer, your customer, actually your employee as well. Mm -hmm. So how do you enable them? How do you make successful? That is particularly important. Mm -hmm. y yeah, no, I totally agree with that. Uh, you know, the idea of, of CX, customer experience, is one that's been around for a long time, but you know, we really focused on our employee experience. And what, what we figured out is they're the same thing, right? In order to build this ecosystem that is a great customer experience and employee experience, you need to build these applications and transform your processes the same way. And so we've actually invested in, in, in a team of people that, do, that work with our employees uh, in real time as we, as we create these new capabilities for them to make sure that they are intuitive, uh, to make sure that they are helpful uh, and to make sure that our employees are adopting them. Because if they aren't using them it, and we can invest in whatever we want, it's not going to get the result of, of helping our customers. And so right. really, for me, that's a, that's a huge part of it is, the, is really the employee experience and making sure that the tools and the technology that we provide to our teammates uh, works and works really well. Great. Bringing people, customer, and tools together for a better business. Massimo, Jason, thank you both. Thank you. Please download the report. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, please download it.